that's enough whacking ducks. We've got to go practice for tomorrow's four-a-side soccer tournament. Can't you guys wait? I'm about to clear the level. Huh? Oh, babe! Cats! Huh? Huh? As I am playing whack a duck. Oh well. I've got it! You've just given me a brilliant idea for a new invention! I wouldn't bother warming up. It's not like you're gonna win either way. <laughs> we'll see. <gasps> Heads or tails? Heads. No, tails. No, heads, heads, heads. Tails. Uh -huh. Your team can kick off first. <laughs> it was a nice try, Obaid. <laughs> yeah, you're the best forward ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, sir, just keep playing. But uh, we've got to score a goal. <gasps> I can't see a cap. Oh, my mistake then. <laughs> okay, goal kick. That's not fair. They're cheating. Even for Tarek and his goons, this is too far. I can't believe how thirsty I am. Uh, uh, uh. Listen up, guys. We're playing well and fairly. We can still win this. It's not over till it's over. Let's get out there and play like we've never played before. Yeah! Let's do this! 
Time for second half. Now, they don't even have a substitute. Tin can? Oh, babe. Put these on. You can operate the robot. Uh. <laughs> okay, try moving it. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Okay, play on. <laughs> oh, my aid! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey! <laughs> We've only got a few minutes left. Oh, my aid! Yeah? Just imagine Tarek and his team are big rubber ducks! Huh? <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thank you! Hey! To me! To me, I'm open! I mean, to the robot! <laughs> what? What? Nicely done, boys! <laughs> yeah, all right. this, boys! Let's win this game! I know we can do it! <laughs> it's a tie now! <laughs> Come on! Let's win this game, guys! We're almost there!
We're going to miss the start of the race. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be such a bad idea, you know, because you have no chance at winning this race. You seem awfully certain about that. I guess you can call it a hunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as everyone plays fair, then it should be a good race. Why, yes, it should. Good luck, Mansoor. <laughs> He's gonna need a lot of it if he wants to win. Don't just sit there. Do something. Oh, okay. Camille! Oh, it's the other way. Uh... Uh, just loosen them a little. We don't want the... Oh. Uh, uh, put it back on! Put it back on! Wait, wait, but I thought that we were going to... Do it uh, quickly! Well, okay. But you didn't tighten them very well. Because that's the whole idea. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't get it. Remember, this is a team race. We have to collect five flags between us before we reach the finish line, or we'll be disqualified. No problem. Leave the flags to me. <laughs> <laughs> Obeyed. You drive and I'll get the flags. in no time. Ah! <laughs> 
Without you guys.
fans out there to the Great National Jiu-Jitsu Gym for this very important series of grading fights. <laughs> Our first match will be won in the yellow belt category. Please give a warming welcome. The first to fight and step on the main floor <laughs> is crowd favorite Salem. <laughs> <laughs> The ref is clearly concerned by Solemn's apparent lack of movement. Hmm. <laughs> Mansoor, would you please be so kind and explain to the viewers at home what we're seeing here? It seems like <laughs> Salem has some concerns for his safety. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Mansoor. Doesn't he always? What a typical Solemn thing. <laughs> Let's go, Salem. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, we're moments away from starting. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs>
there's no way I'm gonna let Mansoor beat me this year. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure of that. He's gonna regret it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, but you said the same thing last year. Remember? Mm -hmm. That's when Mansur did that mean wristlock and you were in pain. on the floor when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> what about that other time he beat you? See, I'm gonna beat Mansoor using my brains, my bronze, and with a little trick up my sleeve. Just watch and learn. Oh. oh. <laughs> with these. Now help me tape them on. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. <laughs> this one too. <laughs> 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 now I'm ready to fight. I'm going to teach Mansoor a lesson and get myself a green belt.
Colin, prepare to lose. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. Like I'm I lost win. last time. I <laughs> got this. This time there's no mercy. Take that. Huh. Huh. <sighs> hey, guys, check out my invention. Huh? Ah! So you mean you made a laser gun? No, silly. It's not a laser. It's my latest invention. It's a kind of super hearing aid. But what's wrong with your ears? Nothing's wrong, but this will make them even better. You'll see. Oh. Did you finish your homework? Yeah, it was kind of easy. I heard there's a new boutique opening up at the mall. Not sure it's cool to use a spy on people. I wonder what else we could use it for. <laughs> I'm approaching the meeting point right now. Quick question. You being followed? Hold on! Obey, point it at that guy again. <clears throat> what are my instructions? Who, him? Please tell me. Proceed to the meeting point. We're all clear. Are you ready? It's a go. Repeat. It's a go. What's that about? Uh, do you think they're spies? <laughs> In 30 seconds, I'll be at the cafe. Come on, let's follow huh? them. Huh? Follow a spy? Uh, is that really such a good idea? We don't know if he's really a spy, though, Salem. Or maybe he just wants coffee. Weird! He vanished into thin air! That means he's definitely a spy! Come on! Uh, uh, okay, I guess we lost him, huh? Let's go get some ice cream instead. Don't give up, we can find him. With some help. We go tonight. Uh -huh. The plan is simple. You have the equipment? That's him! That's him! He's behind those palm trees. Let's get closer. Uh. Uh. Tonight, the star of Baghdad will be ours. We'll be so rich. But only if we're careful. One false move, and back in the clink. What time do we move? We'll go in 30 seconds. We'll sweep right in, just before they close. And after, we get our hands dirty and steal it. Oh. <gasps> right. Who's the star of Baghdad? Mm. Star Baghdad, Star Baghdad, Star. Mm. Okay, here. It's not a who, it's a what. You won't believe this. It's the biggest diamond in the world. That means they're not spies. Then those people are thieves. We have to stop them. But we don't know where they're going. It's simple. We split up and follow them. Mm -hmm. The Star of Baghdad is in the museum. But not for long if we don't stop those robbers from stealing it. We have to warn the director. Come on! <laughs> hmm. What can I do for you, young gentlemen? It's about the Star of Baghdad, sir. We overheard some thieves plotting to steal it. Huh? Steal the Star of Baghdad? What? Preposterous. No, it's true. At first, we initially thought they were spies. But it turns out they're trying to take your diamond. Hmm? Who's they? From what we know, it's two men, sir. We heard them at a coffee shop. They plan to steal it tonight. <laughs> Such imagination you boys have. It would be quite impossible. There's absolutely no way that it's leaving this museum. We have top security measures. No one gets in or out. Yeah, but sir, they have a way in. You have to believe us. They're on their way here now. We followed them all day. Hmm. Come now. Follow me. I'll give you a tour, and you can see how well we protect our treasures. Wow. <gasps> Feast your eyes on the Star of Baghdad. Oh, it's amazing. The largest diamond in the world. Some even dare to say that it's older than time itself. It has been worn by many queens, but none could match its beauty. Whoa, it's huge! Now then, why don't you try and take it? Huh? Go on. Just try to pick it up yourself. Exactly. Well, luckily for us, I happen to have this key to get us out. It's the only way out. 
Hey, what happened? <laughs> it's just a test, Aziz. I'm just showing these boys our alarm system and how well protected our diamond is. Hmm, no problem. Oh, cool! I love lasers! Laser trip wires. Not even a fly could get past them. As you can see, the Star of Baghdad is completely safe. This is the only key. Closing time, boys. It's time to leave for the day. Hmm? Uh -huh. uh, 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 it's my wife. Uh, I'm running late. I'll have to leave you to find your own way out. And don't worry about the diamond. Nothing is going to happen. It's quite secure. Yes, dear. Uh-huh, yes, mm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, I forgot about my super listening device in the director's office. Oh? Shh, listen. We just have to wait until everyone leaves. And then... We make our move. The robbers, they're here. We have to warn the director. Shh. Mm, it's no use. We're locked in. Oh, great. Trapped in a spooky old museum with two thieves? Well, can this get any worse? What do you think we should do? We'll call the police. My battery's dead. Yeah, mine too. Well, my phone's fully charged. But... But it's at home. <sighs> I hear them coming. Quick, up here! Look, there they are! Saeed. They've got the Star of Baghdad. We have to stop them. They're going to get away. What do we do? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I've got an idea. <laughs> yeah! Wait, I have an even better plan. Thanks to you, boys. If it weren't for you, the Star of Baghdad wouldn't be safe. You're welcome to visit my museum anytime you want. Free of charge, of course. That means a lot to us, sir. And I'd like to say that I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you before. If you really want to listen, I'll make you one. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello and welcome everyone to this beautiful new park. I would like to say thank you to everyone who has worked so hard to create it. And a special thank you to a very talented local artist who has made this great sculpture here. Ooh. <laughs> And so the time has come for the awaited attraction. With the unveiling of this statue, I declare this park open. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> awesome! Do you like it? Yeah, it's very good. But what is it? Huh? <laughs> it's an elephant riding a motorbike, obey. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a bird. I was just wondering what kind of bird it is. Is it an eagle? What's that? Well, I mean, it's a big bird with a sharp beak, and it has claws. No! What's that over there? Huh? Hey! 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 Stop! Hey! Stop, hey, stop, stop coming this way! way. No. I don't get it. Why doesn't the driver see us? And why can't we see the driver? Huh? Oh! Huh? No! There is no driver! It's a runaway digger. Uh, it's driving straight towards us. It's headed towards your mom's statue. We've got to stop it. But how? With teamwork, that's how. Come uh, on. I was afraid you'd say that. Uh, what's your plan? We'll climb on, get in, and hit the brakes. Uh, uh, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, uh, I've changed my mind. It's impossible. Uh, how are we going to get up there? We've just got to try. Come on. Obi, climb up. Uh, hey! Uh, that really hurt. I know. Thank you, Obi. Without you, we couldn't have gotten up here. You bet. You're the best ladder I've climbed. Huh? Uh, you're welcome. Come on. Okay, let's try and stop this thing. But how do we even do that? I don't even know how to drive a regular car. This is an emergency, Obaid. Try the brakes. Huh? <laughs> They're not working. Then try huh? them again. <laughs> oh, no. Why are we stopping? The brake's broken. There's no steering wheel. How in the world do we make this thing turn? Maybe press huh? this button. Now we can't see where we're going. Move it back to where it was. Uh -huh. ah! 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 Do something! That was close. They saved your statue. But who's going to save them? Give me the police. This is an emergency. Oh, that was a close one. Too close. OK, I won't be able to do this without your help. You each take a lever. Yours turns us right, and yours turns us left. I'll fix the brake. Uh, uh, come on, come on, uh, come on! Uh, uh. Oh, we'll have to steer. Get ready, Solemn. Got it. Let's start now. Uh, uh. Thank you. Mansoor, how's fixing the brakes? I think I fixed... Oh, no! Guys, why are we going faster? Because of this. Huh? Are you telling me that we can't stop this thing now? Looks like we'll have to keep driving around the park until we eventually run out of gas. For now, at least. But we should be fine now that we can steer this thing. Mm. Oh! 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 What did you do that for, babe? Well, you said steer. I might have said it, but I didn't mean for you to do it. I was just explaining. Look, all I heard was you say steer, so I steered. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, oh! This can't be good. Good job of 
park obeyed. What did you want me to do? It's not like I had a choice, you know. Look, huh? now we have the cops chasing after us. Let's just keep going in a straight line while we work out what to do. <gasps> so what do you have in mind then? Nano, can you give me the schematics of the digger, please? Will do, Benzor. How do we shut the engine down? These three wires need to be unplugged. How are we going to do that? Well, someone's going to have to go out there and unplug them. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll be the one to go out there and do it. Huh? Well, you shouldn't get out of a moving vehicle. Well, I have to, if we want this to be a non-moving vehicle. Uh, that's true. We're counting on you. Well done, boys. You saved the day. You saved the day. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like these RC diggers. They're easier to drive than the real thing. <laughs> Check this out, you guys. Aha. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome to this beautiful island and my wilderness survival skills training course. Now, for those of you with a nervous disposition, <laughs> rest assured I am a survival expert so you'll be safe. No need to worry, all right, kids? And on that note, let's get started. <laughs> oh, oh, this way. Oh. Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Oh. Oh. <laughs> And boys, be careful of jumping Nutacocos. They can be dangerous. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you boys, set up camp over there. Mansoor, you are in charge. I need to put my melon down and shut my eyes for a few potatoes. What are we going to do? We can't survive what? on this island without Mr. Ali. We're all going to die. Come on, don't be silly. Mr. Ali will be fine after taking a rest, so don't worry. Anyway, we've got Nano with us. Nano, scan the area for water, food, and shelter materials. It seems there is a stream for fresh water 1.2 kilometers northeast from here, but can best be found in the vines hanging down from the surrounding trees. There are mangoes and bananas in abundance. Palm fronds are best for the construction of shelters. And statistically speaking, we are in the best location to build a camp. I'm not staying here. There's no way. I won't let you boss me around. Let's get out of here, guys. <laughs> Uh, mm. Jamal! Uh, Jamil! Let's go! Uh, 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 Don't worry about them. They'll be back. Let's get our <laughs> shelter built. Mm. Lay it there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for some important space spaghetti. Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> After Mr. Ali. Come here, my little winged coffee making beauty. Lovely. 
Mr. Lee! Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you should grab the magic stick now. Uh, it will grant you any wish. Uh, Ooh, a magic stick. How exciting. Obeyed, do a magic trick for me. You want to see a magic trick? Sure, I'll do one. But, but I can't do it yet. Not until you grab the stick. Huh? What's the trick, Obeyed? The trick Ooh. is saving your life. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. Uh -huh. uh. 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 That was a close one. Uh. Nice. Look at that. This path looks familiar. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> Master Obaid, what a nice surprise. We weren't expecting you. Ha ha. Maybe they're back at camp. Jamal, get up on that rock and fill our water bottles at once. Bus? My friends are on the other side of the island. Get them here quick, please. Where is Obaid? Where is Mr. Ali? Whoa. There's a storm coming. Master Obaid has sent for you. Please, hop in. Wow, that sounds great. <laughs> this is so awesome, you guys. Hey, let's go to Men's to the Sewers Camp. We don't need them! <laughs> Side. At least it can't get any worse, guys. Am I right? Oh, hello, kids. How did we get here? Oh, what a lovely pool. Is this my milkshake? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, Mr. Ali, are you all right now? Great. I'm better than all right. Like a brand new man. Like I've had an adventure. <sighs> Is everyone here? Except for Tarek, Jamal, and Jamil, they're still on the other side of the island. We should go and get them. Shouldn't we, guys, huh? No. <laughs> we can leave them for a bit longer. 
Up. Please, more air nano. Uh, Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, the AC's broken. The handyman's on his way to fix it. Uh, huh? Nano, uh, is you okay? Oh. Nano circuits are overheating. He needs a recharge. Wow, even my eyes are hot. How is that even possible? Uh. Uh. Not so close to me, Obeyed. Your body heats too much. I finished my invention. This'll help keep us cool. Is that a blender? Yes, we can make yummy icy smoothies. It's not exactly a blender. Although it seems like one, it's actually a cryo accelerator. A cryo make what? Never mind, guys. It's better if I show you. I just need to get some ice. I love sweet cold grass. The cryo accelerator is a sort of miniature fission reactor in reverse. Ugh, you're losing me, Mansoor. Well, usually energy is hot like the sun. Especially today. But we can also harness cold energy. Let me further explain what I mean. If it works, the cryo accelerator will turn these simple ice cubes into a super coolant. Super cool, if it works, of course. Have faith, my friend. Weather. Is that a cryo accelerator? Yeah, I can't believe you got it right. And it works even better than I thought. Oh, it's run out of ice already. Oh, the snow's melting. It's just too hot outside. We need somewhere cooler. Well, how about the mall then? That's where we were going. Why don't you bring it along? It might be a good place to keep it. Nano! That settles it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call super duper cool. <laughs> Obey, can I borrow your slushy for just a moment? Mm. Hold on. What are you doing? Watch. Purple snow is so cool. It tastes like raspberry. Uh, all props to you. I think your latest invention is going quite well after all, cousin. I do have my moment, Shama. <laughs> <laughs> Looky here. It's Mansoor and his nerdy friends. Yeah, super nerds for sure. And another lame invention he's made. Come on, guys. Let's have some fun if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm starving. 
You're always starving, Obaid. I'm just so active. I'm a growing boy with growing <laughs> muscles. I need to eat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that place over there does the best shawarma sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I live for shawarma. Let's go. Mm. Mm. You were right, Galud. These are the best shawarma sandwiches I've ever had. Mm hmm. Hey, uh, what's up, nerds? And nerdettes. <laughs> uh, what it do? Hi, Tarek. Can't you find someone else to annoy? We are kind of busy, so if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was just trying to be friendly, but I can see that I'm not wanted here. Oh, don't go, Tarek. We like being insulted. Oh, that hurts me. Why do you even hang out with these nerds anyway, Shama? These nerds are my friends. Oh, oh. oh well. I'd love to stand around and chat all day, but I have a life to get back to. Later. I'm so uh, sick of Tarek uh, and his uh, goons. Uh, oh, come on, forget about Tarek. Here, I got us a cup of ice. Nice. We can have uh, some more cryo fun. The cryo accelerator is gone. Huh? What? Uh, oh, where is it? Uh, oh. Tarek must have taken it. Mm. Nano, locate Tarek. We have to find them. They could cause a lot of trouble with the cryo accelerator. We'll split up. I'll go with Kalu downstairs, and we'll check out the entire floor below us while you guys go search this entire floor. Got it. We'll meet back at the fountain. Hmm. 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 Got it. I finally turned it on. Now we just need something to put in it. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> hey, these nerd toys can be fun. Okay, it's time to go, guys. That little tin pot spy will tell them where we are. Come on. Where are those guys? Look, here comes Nano. What's wrong with him? Ew, he's jammed up with this weird pink gunk. <laughs> it's cotton candy. I have located Tarek. I knew it. Nano, which way? Follow me. Come on, time to get my machine back. Got it. Tarek, give me back my machine. Why Ooh. don't you come and get it from me then, Mansoor? <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 Whoa! This does not look good! But we've got to get my machine under control before the mall is destroyed. <laughs> Look! Tarek's running away! I won't let him. I think I know how to stop them. Just need to do a little modification on the cryo accelerator. Obey! When I say go, you start the fountain. Go! Gotcha. <laughs> That'll cool him off. <laughs> there must be some way of reversing the polarity and using it to heat up the ice. 
Or we could just use a giant heater. Shama, do you have one handy? Yep, right up there. Of course, the sun! All we need to do is open the doors and let Mother Nature go to work. Got, Got it! it. Thanks for your help. We'll deal with these ruffians. <laughs> Hope you don't get a brain freeze in there, Tark. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it tastes like yummy, sweet mango with the refreshing hint of goon. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> You're really something obeyed. Welcome to Scotland, home of the Loch Ness Monster. Huh? Did you say monster? Oh, yes. It lives right out there in the water, you see. Uh, it is what he's saying true? I'm not sure. Nano, tell us about the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster is reported to be a prehistoric sea creature living right here. Yes, that's her. There's nothing to worry about, Obeyed. It's just a legend. Now then, who would like to go fishing? Yes, me! I'd like to! <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's go fishing in monster-infested water. You know what, guys? I think I'll stay here. It's probably a bit safer. Here, take these. You can look out for the monster. This too. <laughs> Blow this if you get into any trouble. It should help you out. Thank you. Okay, you three, follow me. We'll see you later, Obeyed. Hmm. Hmm. Relax, Alum. There's no monster here. <laughs> I'm relaxed, really relaxed. There's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> huh? Thank you. Oh, I got nothing. 
nothing. If you ask me, I think we'll be here all day without a bite. Guys, one at a time. Mansoor? We saw the Loch Ness Monster! And so did I! Huh? <laughs> I can explain. Look! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind me tricking you boys. No cause for alarm. It's just a bit of fun for the tourists. I made it myself, actually. You really tricked us. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it couldn't be a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did. Sal. But I I'm did sure see did. the real thing. Honest. No, Obeid. It's just make believe. No, no. I'm not talking about the fake one over there where you guys were. I'm talking about the real Loch Ness monster that was just over that way. Look. <laughs> That's a tree, Obeid. Yeah. The real monster was by it, I swear! And what was it like? Um... <laughs> quite friendly, actually. That's good news. So you won't mind coming back out fishing with us? Nope, I don't mind at all. With any luck, I might catch your monster, Obeyed. Yeah, you wish. You'll need a bigger rod than that. Obey. can you see it? No, not at the moment. That's because it's not real. No, it's very real. I'll prove it to you guys. Watch. <gasps> I've got a bad feeling about this. Nano. Scan the water and tell us what's coming towards us. You got it, man, sir. <laughs> huh? It's only a log. <laughs> <laughs> That's your monster obeyed? A log? No. Huh? Huh? Ah! This is my monster. Stand back. It could be dangerous. <laughs> Or maybe not. What's happening? Nano, what exactly is it? It's okay. Don't be scared. It's just Nano. Unidentified and unknown species. There is nothing in my database. Oh, thank you, Nano. You, you, you mean tell me that that thing is the real Loch Ness Monster? Yup. And I'm the one who found him. Like fun. That was amazing. Awesome! <laughs> 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 
Now do you believe me? I told you I saw the monster. Yes, you did, Obeyed. You did. <laughs> yeah. No way! Whoa! You are not gonna believe what just happened. And you're not gonna believe what happened out there! <laughs> <laughs> Catch anything? Mm. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> oh, -ho. all right then. Well, I'm sure you'll tell us when you're ready. I'm really sorry that we doubted you, Obeyed. Oh no, it's okay. At least we believe you now. But who'll believe us? Honestly, even I'm not sure if I believe it. Good morning, Mrs. Husney. How can I help you? Oh. Aha! <laughs> I thought you might have recognized me. Hmm. Huh? From television? No, not really. Huh? Oh, of course you do. Trad, the world's famous trapper. Oh? Who? You really don't recognize me. The trapper of animals, both great and small. Mm -hmm. Wrestler of beasts far and wide. Mm, um. Uh, no. Uh, you must have seen me on TV. Let me find it. It's here somewhere. If only this... It won't work. Khalil! Yes, my lamb? Play it. Really, again? Yes, play it again. From the dusty plains of the Sahara... To the depths of the Pacific. Trad the Trapper's feats of death-defying bravery were the stuff of legend. Oh, look! Ha ha! Watch. Wait for it. Until it all fell apart in an embarrassing attempt to wrestle and tame the last existing golden oryx. <laughs> that wasn't the video I meant to show him. You wouldn't be laughing so hard if I'd had another shot at that orc. If only it hadn't got extinct. Ugh, if only it was still here. If it was still here. Hmm. <gasps> look, look there. No way, an ori. 
Yikes! I've never seen one that color before. Let's find out what breed it is. What breed of Oryx is this? It won't be long now. <gasps> huh? Ooh. <gasps> oh. Mansoor! Mansoor, you've got to help us! Okay, okay. I mean, how was I supposed to know the photo would go viral? What? Now the whole world is going to come looking for this poor golden oryx. It'll really go extinct this time. And it's all my fault. Jama, hang on. And now there's this weird Trad the Trapper character saying he's going to come and wrestle the poor animal. Huh? Who? So I need you guys to come and help me catch it to move it to safety. Well, don't just sit there. Say something. How do we find a golden oryx? That's easy. It's got to eat and drink, right? Okay, great. Now how do we catch it? Here, little Oryx. So it is true. It is still alive. Hey, get the quad ready. We have to be stealthy about this. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Let go of the cord! <laughs> 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 You guys seriously can't make this easy hike? Of course we can. Um, we were just thinking of you girls. Hmm. Water! Water! Oh, it's hot! Water! Water! I need water. Have some juice. Grape. Uh, apple. Fine. Huh? There. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Done now. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Hold these. I'll go and get the quad. Oh, Ready? Hmm. I can't find the tripod. It's in the bag. And the tapes? The tape is in the tape pocket. Batteries? Oh, they're in the same place. Are they charged? Yes! Now will you get on with it already? Um, well, I'm not crazy about the light. Come on! Okay, okay. Action! Hey! What do you think you're ah, doing? What does it look like? I don't have the slightest clue. I'm about to wrestle the golden oryx. In pajamas? They're not pajamas. They look like pajamas to me. It's called leisure wear. Look it up. Pajamas. Pajamas. Yeah, uh -huh. Pajamas. Yep, totally pajamas. Pajamas. pajamas too. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were pajamas too. Well, pajamas or not, turn that camera on already so that I can wrestle this last golden orcs for the entertainment of television audiences all around the world. It does look a little smaller than I remember it. You know, I really don't think that it's the last golden oryx in existence. Why not? Because that looks like its mother, and she doesn't look very happy. Huh? <laughs> it's you, it's you. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Hmm? Oh, no. Uh, 
my lamb. Don't you worry. Don't worry, my lamb. I got it all on tape. Don't you worry. Really? Let me see it. I will find that animal and have my revenge if it is the last thing that I do ever. Actually, if you oh. were to show that golden oryx on television, you'll be endangering an entire species of animals once again. Rather than wrestling it into extinction, what we should really be doing is protecting it. There's a very interesting article about this on the World Nature Watch website. Here, I'll send you the link in an email. I'm sure it'll change your mind once you get to read it. So then, what's your email? Mm -hmm. Tell us, Trad. After days of scouring the desert, what have you found? I can confirm that the Golden Oryx is still extinct. That photo on the internet is fake. The Golden Oryx is nothing more than a legend. <gasps> Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. That must have been some great article you sent him. Yeah, I did send him a great article. But it might have actually been the other attachment I sent him that really changed his mind. Other one? Yeah, the one I shot on my phone. shoe and you'll have a pair each to wear soon. <laughs> Grandpa, how can there be this much garbage in the harbor? Well, they are trying to raise money to clean it all up. Oh, but they've got a long road ahead. Oh, oh, I got one, I got one! This feels like a big one! <laughs> huh? Maybe it's a size 14, Obeyed. Looks like you've got a real monster, Obeyed. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, no. It broke the line. Aw. It's okay. Next time. There's always a next time. Oh. I was about to catch a monster. Or so I thought. He was big, huh? all right. Hmm? But no monster. Did you ever hear of the Beast of El Gadis? Uh-huh. Mm hmm? When I was a younger man, I used to dive for pearls at El Gadis. Oh, the work was difficult, all right but the rewards were worth it. Until... Until... Until the monster came. Its teeth were as sharp as a shark's and had a towering body the size of a whale. I met <gasps> the beast one day, and I'll never forget those dead black eyes. I think the boys have had enough. We don't want them to actually believe crazy fisherman stories. They're not just fisherman stories. That beast was real. Real, I tell you, as real as you and me, and I can prove it. See for yourself, he bit my boat in half. You mark my words. The beast still guards the treasures of Al Gatis. Hm. Grandpa, do you think we could go there? I don't see why not. I'm too old to dive now, but you young fellows can. Yay! All right, ready for an adventure? You, you bet! bet. Let's sell what we find and use the money for the harbor cleanup. We're here, Whoa. the Algatis Reef. Let's get ready, guys. Here, use these nets to gather the oysters, but just take the big ones. The young ones don't have any pearls, okay? Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> 
for beginners. I'm sure you'll soon get the hang of it. Let's get back to work. Boys. I did find this crab. <coughs> More like he found huh? you. Whoa! <laughs> guys, hey guys, you won't believe this. There are hundreds, maybe thousands. Come on, I'm sure we'll find a pearl there. Nice work, very nice work, man, sir. Great job. How did you find all that? I had a little help from an octopus. Come on, I'll show you where it is. <gasps> talking about the, 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 the monster grandpa it's not just a story it's real it almost ate turkey i told you there's no such thing as sea monsters things look bigger underwater you must have seen something else <laughs> like a moray eel or a <laughs> what, what do you call what's behind you then <laughs> <laughs> that why that's just a, a, a sea monster <laughs> Grandpa, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. But we have to get out of here. And fast, pull up the anchor while I start the engine. <laughs> oh no, it's stuck! Salem, Ovi, come and help us! <laughs> it's no good, I'm going to have a look. It's a sea monster! It's holding on to the anchor! We can't leave! Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Hang on! Oh, it's pulling us down! We have to try and scare it away. Oh, you just gave me a great idea! Oh, he finally lost it! Not like that. Watch. Huh? Quiet down, boys. Let's see if it did the trick. I guess not. Oh, what's this? Oh, my pearl. I forgot all about it. 
Oh, yes, it's a real beauty, all right. Not much use to us now that we're monster food. <gasps> oh, I think I got it. I know what to do. It's the pearl. Mansoor, the pearl. Let's throw the pearl at the monster. Obeyed? Sure, it's a big pearl, but it's not like it's gonna do anything. We're going to need something way bigger than that to do some damage. No, 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 no. Listen, remember what the old fisherman said. The beast guards the treasures of all gotchis. What are you getting at, Obey? I mean, I'm just thinking. Maybe all it wants is its pearl back, you know? I'm out of ideas, Obey. Could be right. Obey! I think you hit the jackpot! Salem! The anchor! Quick, help me! It worked! <laughs> the monster let go of the anchor! Okay, then. How about we get out of here? Yeah! <laughs> Your idea was good thinking, Obey. Thank you, thank you. I know. Well, the thing is, I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> Perhaps in the future, I'll listen to old fisherman's tales. And now we have a tale of our own to tell, Grandpa. Oh, look! We still have five oysters and this rusty old pot. Huh? Where did you get that pot? What? You mean that? Incredible. Huh? It doesn't look incredible. No, oh, but it is. It's actually an ancient Persian relic. And by the inscriptions written on its side, I believe this relic must be over a thousand years old. A thousand years old? Nearly as old as me. <laughs> the Persian pot is worth a lot of money, you see. Of course, an important relic like this belongs in the museum. We'll take it there, and you can collect your rewards. How does that sound to you? Huh? Did you say rewards? Naturally. We can't let young archaeologists like you go unrewarded. You deserve something. Good job, boys. Yeah. <laughs> treasure. Now we can help with the harbor cleanup. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Kerinci Sablat is one of the largest national parks in Indonesia. The park was once home to the majestic Sumatran rhino, sadly now extinct. But the park still has other animals, like tapirs, clouded leopards, and also sun bears. And of course, let us not also forget the hundreds of types of bird species here, and also our closest living relative, the majestic primates. Also, out there in the jungle are some of the largest and most ferocious animals in Asia, <gasps> like the powerful Sumatran elephant and the Sumatran tiger. But some say that there is a creature in the jungle far stronger than any elephant and fiercer than any tiger. The beast is known as Orang Pendek. It means short person in Indonesian, but don't be fooled, for it is an extremely misleading name. And all we know is that no one who has seen it has lived to tell the tale. Don't worry, you two. It's just a story after all. Mm. Oh, oh! Did you see that? It was a cream striped bulbul. Quick, watch this, Mansoor. Oh, yeah? How about you try this? 
Okay, I'll try it out then. Guys, we should catch up with the others. So where are the others? Uh, maybe huh? the tiger got them. Or maybe even worse, the orang pendek got them. A tiger hasn't gotten them, and the orang pendek's a myth. There's no way. It's not real, you guys. <gasps> We must have taken the wrong path, so let's go back. <laughs> I'm not going back there. There's no point. There's no way forward. We have to go back. Uh, we could stay here. Why not? It looks uh, nice enough. Are you crazy? We can't just stay here, you know? When we go back there, we'll be tiger food. Or even worse, or rank pendek food. Wait a minute. I think I see something. The orang pendek probably got him. Oh, come on. I'm sure he's just fine. Whoa! Awesome! Wow! No way! Just look at this! Amazing! Filled with... Gold! Lost temples always have gold! I was gonna say snakes. Let's go. No way, guys. It's the perfect time to go exploring. And look for the gold! Oh. What kind of ape is this? Chimpanzee? Hmm, gorilla? Impossible, because there are no gorillas or chimps in Indonesia. Only orangutans. Whatever it is, it looks pretty real. And what's with that color? <gasps> Did you see that? What? That statue just winked at me. What do you mean, Obeid? Hold on. That's not a statue. Uh, what is it then? <laughs> the orang pendek! Everyone run! <laughs> Where the best mangoes are. 
Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's very different from his legend. We'll be famous for finding him. For sure. We will definitely be on TV. We present Obeyed and his best friend, Orang Pendek. <laughs> yeah, no way. It'll be more like Turkey and the Lost Temple of Orang Pendek. Hey, hang on. What about. What about, uh. Salem saves the day? Yeah, right. And which day did you save exactly? Hey, come on. We need to find the group, you guys. <laughs> Oh, wow! Uh, it seems quite high. With this view, it would definitely be in my movie. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We get back. Let's go. Mensor! Oh, you guys are all safe. Hey, Dad. Ah, thank goodness. So, how did you find your way back? Well, it's an amazing story. You won't believe it. Huh? Uh, we followed the setting sun. No, we didn't. Tell him. Yes, we did. Uh, uh, oh, oh, right. Hmm. Right. You must be starving. Come on, let's go eat. You didn't tell your father about Orang Pendek? But we were gonna be famous! If we say anything about our encounter, this jungle will be full of people looking for him. And then they will put him in a zoo and he won't be free anymore. I think it's better that we keep our secret. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay, you're right, Mensor. Yeah, he's right. I'll be back to pick you up at five. And please try to stay out of trouble. Yeah, see you later. Thanks for the ride. Thanks for taking us. Bye, Mom. <gasps> Let's go. At the center of our solar system, and at a distance of 149 billion, uh, 597 uh, million. Uh, 870,000, 800, no wait, is that 700 meters? Yeah, that's it. So mm. at a distance of 149 mm. billion, huh? 871. Are you guys billion. thinking what yes. I'm thinking? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. star of the solar system. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that the sun is yellow because it is covered with liquid hot magma. It comes from the core. Ah. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
I think it's okay for us to put these on, right? I think so. Hmm? You sure? Hmm? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> huh? 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 Oh. I thought they said the suits were ready for us. Huh? Mm. Mm. Huh? This simulator looks so real. Yeah. Why don't we find out how real it feels then? <laughs> <laughs> are in real outer space. He can hear what we're saying. Yes, I can. And I need you to listen carefully to what I'm saying. Uh, oh, this is oh, very oh, important. Oh, wow! It's even interactive. So cool. Ooh! Ooh feels like the real thing. Oh, right? It's awesome. Stop it. J just stop it. This is not a simulator. And I am not just a voice box. You boys are in a real space shuttle, and you're about to get lost in space. Don't you understand? Huh? Uh -huh. Don't panic. Listen to my instructions now, and we will guide you safely back to Earth, okay? There's one thing you need to keep in mind, though. Do you see the flashing red button? It's near the speaker. Do not repeat. Do not press that button under any circumstance. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> and they're gone. We're all alone in space now. Hold on. We can't just panic. We need to focus on finding a way back to Earth. <gasps> what was that? Oh, it seems we've docked with a space station. There has to be someone here who can help us get back to Earth. Come on! Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder. Intruders, identify yourselves. Hi there. We're not intruders. We're... <laughs> Mm, wait, let us explain. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> okay, as soon as we get down... Would <laughs> 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 you listen? <laughs> 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 We're not going to hurt you. Is there anyone here who can help us get back to Earth? I'm the only one here now. Can you help me get up? Oh, I have a bad back. I should be able to help reroute your space shuttle. That is, if I can remember how to do it. But robots don't forget things. That is correct. However, I have been here for so long that some of my circuits need immediate replacing. They need immediate replacing. J just like the rest of this space station, as you can so clearly see, see, see. But, but, but since the real astronauts did na 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 arrive to fix it in time, it is na 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 now scheduled to s s s self self destruct at a moment's no 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 notice. No what? way! Who is that? When? Uh, self destruct in T minus 45 minutes. Can you stop it? Sure. All I need to do is enter the passcode here. Self-destruct in T minus 10 minutes. Oh, 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 wait. Now I remember. Self-destruct in T minus 5 minutes. Maybe it's this one. Stop! Oh, oh. Can you just reroute the space shuttle to take us back and quick? 
for bringing Badir home. Uh, oh, we thought he had been lost forever. You know this robot? Hello there. I'm the director, and I'm in charge of the Space Center's operations. You see, we sent Badir on a mission to gather data from the space station. But when we lost contact with him years ago, the whole project was abandoned. I can only imagine all the information my robot pal is carrying, and that information will be absolutely invaluable to our work. Thank you for bringing him back home. <laughs> Thank you so much, boys. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, it's a long story. Come on now, tell me. Don't worry, Mom. I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear all about it very soon. 